Today we're at SneakerCon, and if you've never been to one before, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the tips and tricks on how to get the best experience out of it. Let's go. All right, tip number one, you wanna always show up early and always leave late. The best deals are gonna come in and you're gonna build relationships at the beginning of the day, and then at the end of the day or the last day of the event, everybody's gonna be wanting to dump their shoes, and what's gonna happen? You're gonna get really good deals. Let's go see if we can find some good deals. All right, next thing you wanna do, bring a bag or a cart. I'm gonna show you guys some examples of what people like to do. There's different Ikea bags, Amazon boxes, carts, you name it. And actually, you know what? Let's go interview some people and see what they think about it as well. Why is it so important to have the cart when you come to SneakerCon? So you don't gotta carry your stuff, man. You can just throw it in the cart and drag it along, you know what I mean? So, so you got a cart right here, yep. uh, and then you got other stuff with the boxes. So you got the setup with these boxes right here. Yeah. So it's kind of boxes and carts. Boxes and cars, you know, you can drag your stuff, set it on, on the boxes, and you're good to go, man. No, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, for sure, Thanks. bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Bro, yep. I bought all your shit, bro. Yep. Thank you. Tell me about this bin right here. Where did you get this from? This bin, you know, well, you know, because, you know, when you sell sneakers and stuff, yeah. you got to have extra jobs. Uh -huh. Well, this fell off the truck. Okay, okay. Of one of my other... Of one of my other jobs. <laughs> and it's really easy if you need to get them. Okay. Be friendly to any person in that big blue truck. Okay. okay. And walk up to them carefully so they don't think they're getting jacked up. Okay. And say, hi, I was wondering if I could have one of those things that you carry everything in. <laughs> this right here. And it has zippers on it and everything. Not only that, it's fully collapsible. And it's waterproof? Waterproof, lightweight. I have it strapped to wheels right now. Oh, even smarter. You can follow me at Trey21, T-R-E underscore 21. Okay. For other tips and deals you need to carry your stuff to the next show, I just gave you a little hint. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. All right, you guys, so the next thing is, cash is king. You always wanna focus on bringing cash because sometimes there's no Wi-Fi, there's no network, and next thing you know, you're trying to do a digital transaction and you're gonna have struggles. And I was actually talking to somebody earlier today and they said they potentially had that same problem, but they were glad they had some cash. Let's see what they're talking about. You got any tips or advice for somebody that's coming for the first time? Bring bring cash, because sometimes there's no internet around the area okay. and stuff. And like, make sure you bring a bag or something so, to carry the money. Appreciate it, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck with everything. Also, when you got cash on you, it makes it a lot easier to negotiate. Sometimes somebody might be asking $500 for a pair of shoes and you want to buy it for $400 and you're like, you know what, maybe I'm willing to buy it for $440. Well, if you got cash on hand and put that money in their face, not saying it's going to work every time, but what I can say is nine times out of 10, you might be able to get a little bit of a discount because people like that cash in hand and a lot of people like to call it cash is king. You guys just did a coin toss. Yeah. And wh why did you guys coin toss? Well. So uh, uh, for these shoes right here, uh -huh. they're offering 350. He said 350 or 300, okay. and then I won. So you wanted to pay 300. Yeah, I wanted to pay 300. And what did you choose, heads or tails? I chose heads. Heads, and it was yeah. win. Yep, I had, I came up. So. so now you're getting the shoe for 300 bucks. What's up? Now you get the shoe for 300 dollars. Yeah. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. Appreciate yeah. it, bro. Yeah, appreciate Thanks. you. Okay, so next thing you want to do is wear dope shoes, but comfortable shoes. Now you guys might be saying. The Jordan 4s are uncomfortable. I get it, but I wore these a lot and they're real comfortable to me. At this point, I've been to a lot of events, I get it, but you're walking on concrete for hours. Ask my wife behind the camera. She knows how it feels. You feel it on your knees and your joints. We're getting old, you know what I'm saying? You're getting it? Old. Oh, I'm get, oh, my bad. Getting I'm old. getting old. I'm <laughs> Either way, you want to keep something comfy on. So like I show you guys with the B-roll right here, you got different people wearing Yeezy slides and Air Maxes and other Yeezys and different comfortable shoes that they feel comfy with, Crocs, you name it. I've seen a bunch of stuff throughout the day. And some people say, F it, I don't care. I'm just wearing slides. I'm coming to buy. I'm coming to make some money. It is what it is. So it depends on you. But again, just be aware and be conscious of those scenarios because if you come with your dope shoe or if it's too small and it doesn't fit you all the way, next thing you know, you're not gonna just be buying a pair of shoes to have, you're gonna be buying a pair of shoes to take some shoes off your feet and put something new on your feet because you wanna have something comfy for the rest of the day or you're gonna be leaving the event early and you might potentially miss out on a deal. So just think about those things and I always tell other people too, 
switch the insoles. If you switch the insole on there, that helps a lot and it makes it a lot more comfortable as well. So that's something to consider. Again, these are just different options. I wanna make sure you guys are thinking about these things because I want you guys to enjoy yourself but also have a very comfy time at the same time. This is your first sneaker con. Yes, what would sir. you uh, recommend somebody else know when they come to a sneaker con? Oh, like, you man. got any tips for somebody? Uh, I don't know about tips, but it's great. The people are really nice. You're you know. enjoying it? Yeah, for sure. Okay, what's something that you might have learned from today by coming? Um, if you want to trade up or bring some shoes, it's good to bring them, but don't bring a lot because you can only bring what you carry. Right, right. Yeah. I feel that. Okay. Yep. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, Thank no you. Problem. So everybody knows about water, right? I love me some water. And the problem is, I could get this at the store for a couple bucks, but when I come to an event, you know how it goes. You go to an event, the same bottle of water, even smaller, not even alkaline. Ooh, wow. It's like eight bucks. So be prepared, try to sneak it inside of your bag, bring some snacks, be prepared for that. It's gonna be a long day. Sometimes you gotta Postmate some food and have it brought to you outside. And like we always do, right? We have that delivered to us, we pick it up and then we bring it in. It depends on the scenario, whether the event allows food internally or externally. So you always wanna do your research as well. What does the event allow? Not every event is the same when it comes to the carts and the containers and the bags, or it has to be a clear bag. There's a lot of different stipulations. So I know these are some of the rules that I'm giving you guys, but again, it's universal to some things. And then some places have stricter rules in different cities, different venues. But again, like I said, be prepared to pay a decent amount of money when it comes to the food. And nine times out of 10, can you say, the food just doesn't taste that good. But it is what it is. We got to eat food. And my wife is vegan. I'm like, what am I? 90% vegan now? 85. I'm 85%. Oh my gosh, give me some love. Either way, just be prepared for it. Know that you're going to get taxed when it comes to food. Or just bring snacks. Or know that, hey, I'm going to eat later after the event is over. Going to have a, a quick dinner with the homies. You name it. Either way, be prepared. Let's take it to the next tip. Let's look at some more shoes. You guys just met at the sneaker con. Yeah, we did. Right? And you guys building a relationship right now. A relationship. So how's it going for you guys? It's going good, good. man. Yeah. We Great business, man. You know? Pair, we share knowledge. That's all we need. That's, 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 dope. that's, that's, that's dope. I'm a big I'm a big Kobe sneaker. I have an Instagram. It's Kobe Sneakers A, man. So okay. I was talking about consigning Kobe's and just talking business here. Dope. So dope. very good uh, young gentleman here. Really nice Tell the people guy. the importance of building these relationships at events like this. Oh, it's so important, man, because then you build relationships, you build trust. And then it goes down farther down the road, three years, five years, 10 years. So um, I think it's all about building trust. Very Dope. important, yeah, yeah. Dope. So that's a prime example right there of building relationships at the events. Just like the guy talked about. Not only do you meet the people now and get to, you know, potentially get good deals in the future, and I preach this all the time, but those type of relationships trickle for years, two years, three years, 10 years, five years, you name it. And if you hold value in those relationships, going from city to city, having those connections, it makes life a lot easier because you have access to more people in your network. So take advantage of a networking and you never know who you're talking to, whether it's at sneaker con or at a restaurant, or I don't know about a bathroom stall, but either way, I would just say, everybody you talk to, always be respectful, have good interactions with them. Don't look to get something out of them, but at the same time, see how you can provide value to their lives and also how you know they could potentially help you and see ways that you guys align together in life just through natural conversation. We're all here because we love sneakers, so that means we have one thing in common. Now find other things that you guys have in common outside of sneakers. It helps build the relationship even more. I could preach about this all day. It's just a simple networking one-on-one, -on -one. but I know for my younger audience, and even some people in my older audience, these are very important things when it comes to events like this. You guys ask me how I get some of these rare shoes and all this stuff. Speaking of that, let's look at the booth a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So you guys ask me, how do I get some of these rare shoes and stuff? And you see all these different samples and PEs. I don't do it by myself. It's not just one person that helps me get the shoes or me, all this stuff. This is a multitude of different people helping me out over the years, people that I have helped out over the years, all the different scenarios from networking and building those relationships. So if you wanna get dope sneakers or if you wanna just get a regular everyday pair of shoes for a good deal, take value in those relationships because it's very, very important when it comes to the shoe game, business, life, you name it. Networking is key. This is your first sneaker con? Yeah. How do you feel about it? How's it going? It's going great. I got some Jordan 4s. You got some Jordan 4s? Can you show us what you got? 
Did you work a deal out? Did you buy them? How'd it go with the transaction? Coin flip. Coin flip. You did a coin flip? I lost it. You lost the coin flip. Yeah. And how much you pay? 240. 240? And then did you go get them authenticated? Yeah. yeah I got you got them authenticated, authenticated, so you got the eBay stamp on there. Yeah. Dope. So you feeling good though. Still happy about it. First sneaker con. Yeah. So this is another prime example. We just saw the young man. He just came to SneakerCon for his first time. He got some shoes. He did a coin toss. And then he got his shoes authenticated. That's what I love about coming to SneakerCon as well. They have a full eBay authentication booth over here. Make sure you guys always check that out. Just get familiar with the space. They got cool photo op areas. They got different games as well where you can win free prizes, buy merch, and get your shoes authenticated for free. Yeah, I'm not saying bring your whole collection and get stuff authenticated, but if you got a couple things from home, hey, bring those to the event. And then if you're doing some shopping and you're not sure, you know, you might be in the middle of a transaction, say, hey, let's go over here, get it authenticated, then give them the money, and then go finish the, the transaction. So think about those things, be aware of it, but take advantage of the authentication. Because I know a lot of people that this is their first, you know, for, obviously if it's your first time, you're probably, just, you know, first year of being a sneakerhead, second year, still trying to fill it out, get an understanding of the game, touch and shoes and stuff. Just think about those things as well. I wanna make sure that you guys are able to get the product that you like, you're happy about it, and you're able to not worry about getting fakes or anything like that. So take advantage of authentication. Let's take it to the next one. So you guys notice, it's starting to get empty. We're at the end of the day on day two. And these are the best times to take advantage of getting those deals like we talked about earlier. And what you wanna do is make extra laps. When I say make extra laps, yeah, you might have walked around this whole venue three different times. Your feet are sore, you're hungry, you're thirsty. But for some reason, you take that final lap and you find a pair of shoes on the table from somebody you interacted with earlier and they weren't there earlier. And you're trying to figure out how did this happen? Because those same people are buying and selling and trading throughout the day as well. They might have picked up a pair of shoes from somebody that was just walking around that you never saw. It was in your size. They put it on the table for sale and now you found it. You got a good deal. They made their money. You got your shoe for a solid price. Everybody's happy. So again, take extra laps. Have fun with it, enjoy it. We got some people over here looking at some merch. They're loving the booth right there. ShopDNAShow.com. Also, make sure you do that as well. Either way, let's take it to the 10th and final one. <sighs> I'm gonna go find somebody to get us some help with this one because I think this is a very important one. Stick around. Dude, They're carving some merch. Oh, cards. They're carving some merch. <laughs> we out here. Um, so we don't do cards? We're also giving these away. What, we don't have a card. So, for those that don't know, we're doing the lasered Air Force One, so every item you buy at the event will give you a chance to get a pair of the DNA Show Air Force One. So, shout out to everybody that's been supporting. We got people copping the merch. We literally sold out. Look at the suitcases, bro. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Look at the hangers. We had so much merch, and it's all gone. Like, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. I can't even explain it. We'll talk about it later in another video. One thing I love about going to sneaker cons all around the country, all around the world is there's so many people that's coming for their first time. And I'm enjoying making this video for you guys because if you, even if you haven't come for your first time, you've been before, hopefully you learned something from this video. I hope you guys are getting value out of this video. So make sure you guys subscribe. We've got a couple more tips and tricks. I'll see you guys along the way and we'll catch up at the end because we got some fun stuff for you guys at the end of the video as well. Hey, I need you to win. I need you to win. Yeah, come to the middle. All right, you got it. Come on over here, my man. Give it up for me. Come on. Come on. What's your name, man? Adam. All right, so you know how to play? His name is Adam. Justin, his name is Adam. He's shaking. All right, let's do it. Start. Let's go, Adam. Go, Adam. Go, Adam. Let's see what he can get. Three, number three. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Get a picture of him, Adam. What's your name, man? Alright, you got it, 
Go. Thank you, bro. Congrats. Okay, so I'm out here with Will, and he's gonna give us some tips as well about what you should do at SneakerCon. I would say the most important thing above anything else is meet as many people as you can. There's so many resourceful people, people that have been doing it longer than you, who have more knowledge than you. Yep. Meet as many people as you can. Some people come and they just want that shoe, or they want to sell the shoes they brought, and then yep. they're out the door. Yep. You just lost so much that you could have gained by just meeting yep. vendors, meeting other attendees, meeting people like yeah. DNA Kicks. Yeah, so he is a part of SneakerCon. He's been to plenty of events. He has great advice for you guys. Show him what you got on your feet too. I mean. You just got those today. Yeah, I had to. This is what happens when you come to SneakerCon and you found these from somebody just walking around. Yeah, they they were, I've table. been looking nine years for the right deal and it came today. And it so. popped up. So that, like I said before, these are the small things that happen. And the 10th and final tip, just have fun. Have fun, yo. Just have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't be a cool guy, don't do all this stuff. Just go out, we all love sneakers. We're all here for a reason. It. Enjoy it with everybody, network, and just, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you guys. <laughs> all right, we out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. That's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. Wanna know? I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the 